Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So C-Murder, who is the No Limit rapper and brother of Master P, has been serving a life sentence since 2009 for his alleged role in the 2002 murder of 16-year-old Steve Thomas. From the onset, C-Murder, whose real name is Corey Miller, has maintained his innocence. Now following a series of major twists in the aftermath of his trial, the former true rapper claims there are sealed documents that hold the keys to his freedom. In a press release issued by his publicist on Wednesday, August 4th, C Murder alleges the existence of 31 concealed documents showing an illegal DNA cover up that was not presented during his murder trial. He claims that when his DNA was run through the combined DNA index system database, a match was found, but the district attorney directed that the genetic data be taken out of the system and for it to be marked as a forensic unknown. Miller is asking for a full investigation now into the corruption that led to his current incarceration and that the press files a motion for the 31 documents to be given to him and his legal team. The courts are apparently fighting against the release of these documents. Half of my life has been stolen by the Louisiana judicial system and it stops now, C Murder says. The press release also states that C Murder has begun a hunger strike in protest of the medical neglect that he and his other inmates have been facing since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Since the onset of COVID-19, they have continued placing the inmates that have tested positive for the virus in the dorms with inmates that were COVID-19 negative, he says. This has not only spread the virus, but has caused abnormally long quarantine times. He adds, while quarantined, the inmates are on constant lockdown and are not allowed to leave the dorm to receive fresh air. The tests that they provide are not up to standard and they are given many erroneous results. There are many inmates that have ailments that were not properly treated and as a result have died after contracting the virus. I believe that the world should know what is occurring here and their loved ones deserve to know the truth. But yeah, that's some pretty serious business. But what do you think about C-Murder claiming that these sealed documents hold the keys to his freedom? Do you think it's about time that C-Murder gets out? Or what do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And be sure to subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.